Welcome to Lake Ridden. This is a puzzle adventure game made by Midnight Hub. All I know about it is you play as a 13 year old girl looking for her sister. And that sounds really great. Also, it just looks and sounds really comfy. Like, I think it's going to be a really nice and chill game to play. Let's begin. When you were little, did you ever have dreams that felt so real you believed they were true? You probably did. But did any of them really happen? One did to me. A couple of months ago, someone sent me a letter. Someone I thought wasn't real. It all started two years ago, in October of 88. Sophia! Where are you? I had promised to go camping with my sister Sophia and her friends, near Baker's Hill. We'd been there many times when we were younger, but this was the first time since I moved back. Stay there, I'll find a way over. I woke up in the middle of the night and found my sister's tent empty. Okay, one step at a time. You can do this. Calm and easy. The night before, Sis and her friends sat around the dying fire late into the night talking and giggling. It had been tough for her, me moving back and everything. But to run off like this was unlike her. I just hoped she wouldn't hurt herself. Note to self, change the code when I come back. The next code is the same as the year he went missing. Is it a sign? I should be careful. Ah, we have a notebook. Oh, I like the look of the notebook. Everything is textured, like folders and papers. I'm wondering why it was so hard for our sister when we moved back. What happened before we moved away? Oh, I didn't expect to be able to light that. Such a warm glow. Oof, it 
really stinks in here. <laughs> this looks nasty. Oh my god. Oh, you can individually light the candles. I love that. So this is what the note was talking about, I think. The combination. The year. They went missing. Oh, you can pick up stuff and move it around and throw it. Inspect right mouse button. Red eagle. Drop. Or throw it. Let's look at all the fake in-game brands in the moonlight. That's ah, too dark. Such a cozy look to it. I love the lights. Thirteenth of October, nineteen eighty four. I've bought the lodge. This is the last place I'd go, but I fear that I have no choice. Hopefully I'll find some answers here. 1st of December, 1984. I found the trail that we walked on that night. It feels like a lifetime ago. It's strange being here again after what happened. It's so tranquil when it shouldn't be. 20th of February, 1985. Some kids were here and I chased them away. I'll have to put up a gate to block the path along the ravine. This place isn't safe for anyone. 10th of March. I'm ashamed that I can't recall his face in my mind. Yet, I remember that night as vivid as I remember yesterday. I wasn't imagining things. There's something here and I will find it. 11th of March, 1985. I can't believe it's 50 years ago today. That day still haunts me. I have to write it down. We were just kids when I and my brother went to the lodge. One night we drank a little too much, and my brother wanted to go for a walk. Had I not been so drunk, I would have stopped him. We came to a clearing in the woods, and my brother ran in front of me. The air became colder around me. Then something happened. By some unknown force, he was thrown into the darkness like a paper in the wind, like something snatched him in the thin air. The cliffs cracked down and stones fell into the clearing. I screamed and tried to get over them, but I couldn't. All those years that everyone blamed me, but I never doubted. I knew what happened that night, and I will do everything in my power to get to the bottom of this thing. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. Okay, so at this point, we should be very worried for our sister having the same thing happen to them. So, 50 years ago, today. Um, what did the note say exactly? The other note. The next code is the same as the year he went missing. The year. Just the year. Okay, I feel really silly now. For some reason, I thought the code was for this. I don't know why. It's obviously for the gate. That's what the note was on. That's what it mentioned in the other note as well. This is the solution for this thing. Whoops. Off to a good start with my puzzling abilities. All these people went missing here? Oh, there's a crouch. So it happens a lot. Yeah, they've been studying whatever's been happening here, and it's been happening to many people. Bunch of four digit numbers? They're not years. Or birth dates or anything like that. 
There's 1935. not right. Oh! The next code. The next code is the same as the year he went missing. Not the current code. So I think that means... It must be the one previous to 1935, which is 5264. Yep. Okay, now I feel like my brain is working. I knew she wasn't herself when I reached the other side of that broken bridge. She would have waited for me. I wonder if people are being possessed out here. And then lowered into the woods somewhere. There's a really nice subtle detail that's going on with this bridge and when you approach the very edge of it. The game makes my walking speed get slower as I get close to it. Like back here, my walk speed is like this. And up close, it's like... I don't know, it feels like maybe half the speed or something like that. Like we're slowing down as we get close to the edge because we're scared of falling. It's a nice detail. Christmas lights. Empty. Where did they run off to? This looks like an awesome party. Tons of fast food. Pretty lights in the woods. And a bunch of hearts all over the place. Dear diary, I pulled it off. Mom thinks I'm staying with Susie while I'm really out here with Rich. He got one of his friends, Bob, to drive us up to the old Lake Ridden Lodge. Apparently, they often hang out up there. He even knew the key code to the locked gate. I overheard him talking to Bob about how he thinks he's going to score tonight. He's definitely not. Hoping to have an amazing night, XX. P.S. Rich is so sweet and so corny. Trying to seduce me, he prepared the sweetest campsite with colored lights and a cozy picnic. Like from some bad romantic comedy. No way Susie will believe me tomorrow. Oh, that explains the hearts. P.S.S. Starting to feel really dizzy. Almost like I'm going to throw up. Just hoping I'm not turning sick. Figures. The most exciting night in ages and I can't fully enjoy it. If Sis passed something on to me before I left, I'll never forgive her. Did Rich drug me or something? I need to stop being so paranoid. He's far too sweet. We have to wait until tomorrow morning for Bob to get back. This place was way more remote than I thought. Must have had something else in my mind during the drive out here. Rich is so worried about me. He hasn't even tried to do anything. He's a real sweetheart. A few days later, 
the young girl was found wandering around the forest, mumbling. I'm not sure what happened to the guy she was with. I know people went out looking for him, thinking he had done something to her. He somehow got away. Unless there's a serial killer hiding out in these woods, preying on people. It sounds like they were taken by the forest. Started to feel sick before they disappeared. March 1985. I've reached the old gate. It was exactly the same as when my brother and I passed through here. We jumped over the wall that night, and I'm an old man now. I found a small box, and I'm trying to get it open. The box is impossible to open. I'm going to jump over the wall. I'll leave my bag here for when I come back. <laughs> oh, yeah, they didn't come back. I see the gate over there. supposed to do with this. I crank it and then it's playing a combination. Am I supposed to follow the combination? Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and then middle. Let's try that. Okay, so I got one and then next one, I guess? Yeah. that I've been looking for my sister for some time. For that funny, carefree girl who was always so sweet. This is an ominous place. 
clumps of thorny bushes. Gnarled thorny bushes just keeping us in, it looks like. Almost like a fence. the atmosphere of the woods. The fireflies and the sounds of the insects and the warm light. I could question why we're finding all these notes all over the place and why I'm just finding random puzzle boxes in places. But I don't know. I just don't care that much about it. I'm just rolling with the really relaxed and nice atmosphere. This is starting to feel kind of alien. This to me feels like alien devices, kind of. The symbols are of ancient knowledge. From the darkness, they amass their power. the most stunning garden I had ever seen. Forgotten for many years. Sophia had obviously not been there. I needed to find a way out. I'm sure we'll have to go back, because we haven't completed the puzzle or whatever that is back there. This looks like a... Is that like a body of a snake twisting around? We're supposed to complete it? We could probably just solve this right now. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that one's right. It's kind of hard to see where the rings are. I think there's just... Yeah, just two rings that I can move. This one and Ooh. that one and this one. I'm trying to match up the black line that continues out here with this one that continues on the inner ring. Might be hard to see, it's really dark. For me too, I'm sure it's even harder to see on YouTube. Ah, oh, maybe it's this? Yeah. There we go. Which way do I want to go first? Together they make up a seal against evil. Yet they cradle this evil like a child. Oh. 
going up to a whole thing. Is this not just super cool? Messing around with ancient, possibly alien technology, something about darkness and evil, and looking for her sister in the woods? I think a piece is missing. Yeah, this is the same sort of thing that was back there, near the gazebo. Well, that's nice. It auto crouches for me. Just want to check the controls real quick. I don't have like a flashlight or anything, do I? I can jump, I can jog, crouch, interact, inventory. Um, oh yeah, there's a hint system. I saw that they mentioned that. Oh wait, F for a light. Ah, I guess I don't have it yet. Doesn't do anything right now. Oh. Ah. This is what goes in those plinths or whatever you want to call them. And I guess I have to choose the right symbol for the place. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Show seven dots, but only four of the symbols associated with them. None for the others. Oh, yes. I can't even tell you how much joy this brings me to light individual candles that cast this beautiful glow. I was just recently playing The Beast Within. Was it The Beast Within or The Beast Inside? Anyway, it's a horror game, and I had a couple sections where I could do this and light each individual candle, and it was so satisfying. Ah, nice. Just look at it. Nice, vaguely menacing, but nice. Okay, so there's symbols on, like, stones and stuff. That one... I don't know what to call it, but... Pyramid... Pyramid arrow? Is that on here? No. So maybe that's this one that isn't listed? Right? Like, this one doesn't have any symbol associated with it, but it is off in that direction. So maybe that symbol is associated with it? And then... This one has no symbol, so maybe that's whatever's this way, which it looks like we can't go this way, actually. That makes sense to me. And then what would be directly back here? I guess this one? Is that listed here? Is it that symbol? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's not like one to one, but I think that's it. I don't quite know what to make of this yet. So that symbol over there isn't... Oh, actually, you know what? If it's not one to one and exact, actually this symbol is on the thing. It's this. Hold on, did we get a... Did we get like a thing that shows this at all? Maybe objectives? No, I was wondering if there's like an image version. Oh wait, no, maybe there is. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Pretty much the same as it looks on the stone thing. But yeah, this is like a triangle with a little stick coming out of it, like kind of like an arrow. I think that's this. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so are all the ones listed on here ones that are shown? In 
person. Um, that one is, I don't know, boom, boomerang, kind of? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. So then what are the other ones? Well, I should be able to just put the one here that matches what it shows, right? Like this is the bird. I think a piece is missing. Thing, so bird thing? I don't think there's gonna be any feedback whether I got it right or wrong until the end. And then over here there's a symbol associated with it. X kind of thing. That'd be this. Okay, so these inscriptions mention sealing away darkness, cradling darkness. So, just a question, what am I doing? Am I releasing darkness? Am I, like, releasing a seal? Kind of worried about my the ramifications of my actions. Wait, 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 what is this? Oh no. Okay, that's just straight up magic. This is definitely magic or alien technology. That is so cool. Does it show up on any of them? Okay, it's got this flat symbol here at the bottom. It's got this flat side. This one does as well. I guess I just need it to be in the right spot on this plate. Like, the bird symbol, for example, is... Two... Uh, three clockwise from this symbol down here, right? Like, one, two, three. Three clockwise from the flat part should be the bird. So then I can make this match. Three clockwise. So that'd be that. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And that lit up. So that means it's right, right? If I get it wrong, it disappears? Yes, it does. So this is definitely what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so... Um, what one was over there? It's like the X symbol. That's one counterclockwise from the flat part. Aha, uh -huh, and quite cleverly, they made the big stone thing slightly visible in the distance from up here, so we'll be able to see when it lights up. One counter counterclockwise. That's right, right? Yeah, did another one light up, though? Oh, yeah, I see it. It's covered by the pillar. You can, like, barely see it if I move to the left here. Let's go... this way next. So this is the, like, boomerang thing. This thing. 